My name is Chris Carrasco. I'm going to be demonstrating um, how to uh, properly utilize some anesthetic monitoring equipment. Uh, the first thing in this video um, that actually is already attached to the breathing circuit is going to be the CO2 monitor. It's a little uh, clear plastic um, tube that goes over the, the Y piece of the breathing circuit. Um, and allows us to uh, measure the patient's uh, inspired and expired uh, CO2. And we ideally want to keep that between 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. Uh, the next thing is going to be the um, ECG leads. Um, there's going to be three of those total. Two are going to go on the front paws. Uh, one is going to go on the back left. Um, you can also put one on the tip of the nose if you're not able to get to um, the back left. Um, the heart rates are going to vary uh, between species, but usually below 100 uh, beats per minute uh, in a cat is uh, pretty abnormal and below uh, about 70 uh, in a dog um, is uh, something that you're going to want to do something about. Um, the third is going to be a, a pulse oximeter. Um, it's going to measure saturation of oxygen in the tissues, um, and that ideally needs to stay above 95%. Um, if it gets below that, you want to adjust it or uh, alert your veterinarian. Um, that can either go on the lip, uh, on the tongue, the ear, uh, the webbing between the toes, um, or the prefuse or the vulva. Um, and it needs, the red light just needs to go over um, where the thinnest part of the tissue is at to get your most accurate results. The last is gonna be uh, oscillometric uh, blood pressure cuff. Um, that's gonna get a snug fit around a pelvic or a thoracic limb. Um, and that is going to give you um, a mean blood pressure, diastolic and systolic. Um, <coughs> ideally you want your, uh, mean blood pressure to stay, um, around 80, um, anything below that is something you're wanting to do something about. Uh, the next two is going to be a bear hugger. Um, the bear hugger works by the, that white tube, um, attaches to a blanket. Um, you always want to have a blanket, um, a bear hugger blanket with the bear hugger itself. Um, because that, um, if you just have the warm air blowing on your patient, uh, it can cause a burn. Um, and then the last is going to be a thermometer. Um, and that's just going to be your usual rectal thermometer, um, to monitor temperature. Um, temperature should stay, uh, 98 degrees, um, or higher. Um, anything below 98, you're going to want to utilize a warming device like a bear hugger. Um, we don't utilize esophageal stethoscopes in our hospital, um, but they are simple to use. It's just a thin um, tube that's going to go directly down the esophagus, and it allows you to um, listen, actually listen to a heartbeat um, if you have any concerns about your patient. And that's it.